Hello students. So today we will start with chapter 11, coordinate geometry, okay? And before we start with the exercise, we must remember a few points which are given here. The first point says, to locate the position of a point on a plane, we require a pair of coordinate axes. Now first of all, we have to remember that a plane has two directions, okay? Namely, over here, x-axis and y-axis. And in the middle, right in the middle, we have the origin. And its ordinates are 0, 0, okay? Origin and yalai, takami and intonalai so. So on x-axis, y-axis sa umboka. X-axis kanti tu, hemi akam peso nga, line umhi ni taa. Okay, the horizontal line is called the x-axis. If you start from the origin O, towards the right, you have X, which are all positive ordinates. And towards the left, you have X dash, okay? O wa changa ding lam pang zong so plus an ni anga. O wa changa ve lam pang zong X dash ho so minus a pezel dona ni. Now, similarly, you have the vertical line, tuk tohi, y axis ni a. So, if you start from the origin O, at sung lam pang y lam pang ason, plus at havanga, at noy lam pang y dash ayan, minus at tuk kave tung dona ni. So, as you can see here, the two axes divide the plane into four segments, which are quadrant 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay? And it goes in anticlockwise motion. Now, Point ring ring plane aom na mun kan soy don suan coordinates mangin kan soy china okay now if you see what I've pointed here bracket tunga so mi minus minus om so 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 coordinate te kan zia landa na niya okay bracket tunga zia kan zia ka now the we have two coordinate coordinates which are called x coordinate and y coordinate the x coordinate is also known as Absisa and the y coordinate is also known as ordinate. Okay. Now, ka point ka hemi y axis atuk to line at ranga alat zong soy fiat tu. Katsu x coordinate emo absisa anitani. Okay. Just like that, he kampe x axis at ranga ka point lat zong soy fiat tu. Katsu y coordinate emo. Ordinate and the zokani let hung tani tu, okay? Tuanin hemi absisa le ordinate tehi x le y ang tipan kan ziak china. Oh, point ming a point hian a coordinate te kan shed lo tuanin bracket tunga x comma y kan timai zelani. Tu vangin x coordinate emo absisa kan ti ka y kami tuk to line at ranga alad zong ni si tuan point ring ring hi y a tak ava om tuan y at rang kan koya ma akal son lo ti na ni don ta a tu vangin a x coordinate emo absisa kami bracket hunga amasa zo ka zero anitura ni y a om tuan okay tu tiang tia tuan Y coordinate emo ordinate kan ti hi hemi x line ap kampe ya tranga alat zong soy tu ani avangin point ring ring hi hemi a kampe line x sa tak yan ava om tuan a y coordinate zok kami anun nung zok mo ordinate kan ti zok ka zero ani vet hung don ni okay please don't mix it up okay point ring ring y axis sa om tuan x amasa zok ka zero tour tuan point ring ring X zok, X axis zok ha, om juan, anun nung zok, Y, I, O, ami zok ha, zero to rin ibet hunga ni, okay? Tituan in, a last point din na so ito, the coordinates of the first quadrant mo, quadrant 1 na so mi point om VV, X le Y, so to plus VV ni nga, quadrant 2 at juan, a X zok ka minus ni nga, Y zok ka plus ni nga, quadrant 3 at juan, minus VV ni tunga nga, juan quadrant 4 at juan, a X zok ka plus ni nga, a Y zok ka minus ni doon ni, okay? Now, there can be more than one point on a plane. So when we want to know the distance between those two points, we make use of the two coordinates that they both have, okay? For example, let's imagine a point P over here having coordinates as x1, y1, and another point Q over here with coordinates x2, y2, okay? 
and we're going to find out the distance between these two points using the distance formula okay now distance formula says if p and q are two points having coordinates x1 y1 and x2 y2 respectively then the distance between them can be found out using this formula square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square units okay and over here in the remarks, we get that um, you can also write x2 minus x1 and y2 minus y1 as y1 minus y2 and x1 minus x2 because you will get the same answer. All right. One more thing is that if you want to know the distance of a point P from the origin, now you already know that the origin has coordinates 0, 0, right? So there's no point in writing x1, y1, x2, y2. You can directly write the distance as square root of x square plus y square units, okay? So make sure to learn by heart this formula. This is called distance formula, all right? So that's it for this video. In the next one, we will start with the exercise, okay? Bye!